How's it going fellow freelancers? We're back with another Anthem video and tonight I'm going to be going through the new anomaly. Yes, it's changed. We now have the Dominion Fury. The arena's changed entirely. It's actually quite fun to do. It's got a few mechanics in there. So I thought I'd go through those mechanics so they could be of help to you in case you're struggling to get this done. The Fury is here for a week. So make sure you get it done before the end of the week and get your clear. As you can see on screen right now, upon victory, if you check your challenges, you do get a check mark for the second one of the five. You need all five, which is part of the main challenge quest in order to get the armor sets you want. So when you start the encounter, head over to the Fury and start damaging it straight off the bat. It will eventually go into its bubble, cocoon or whatever you want to call it, its shell. Once it does this, it's immune and you can't touch it, you can't do any damage to it. Faye will then tell you that you need to find something in order to get it out of its shell. Now the objective will say, collect seven echoes. I know, right? Echoes. But you won't see any echoes around you. Instead, you're going to see enemies with targets on them, much like the Valkyries do in the Cataclysm. Defeating these enemies will spawn echoes. So your task now is to kill seven enemies, Grab the echoes and place them in. Once this is done, the fury becomes vulnerable again. Continue damaging the fury and the fury once again will go into its shell. Again, repeat this process of echoes. Simply defeat the enemies around you with the targets on them to expose the echoes. Once you've collected the echoes, place them in the relic pool and the fury once again, for the final time, becomes vulnerable and it loses its shield entirely. Now, simply take the Fury out to claim your prize. And that is all there is to this. Now, instead of it being three waves, what they've done here is simply made it one encounter, but with three waves. So each damage phase that you have is actually a wave. So wave one is when you damage it first, then you have to collect the echoes by defeating the enemies. Wave two is damaging the Fury again, and then, once it goes into a shell, collecting defeating the targeted enemies, and collecting the echoes. And finally, wave 3 is where you take the boss out. So you still do get your free waves, it's just done in a different way as opposed to week 1. Which one do I actually prefer between week 1 and week 2? Definitely week 1. The aerial versatility of week 1 made it really, really amazing. However, I do like what they've done here, and I do like the ideas that they're going with. So I hope they take this creative thinking and push it even further so we can get more cool stuff in the coming weeks. Right, that's pretty much the end of this video. I'm going to let the rest of the encounter play out. So if you do want to check it out to see it in full, you're more than welcome to do so. However, that's going to be it from me. So if you did find this useful, a like rating would be amazing. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all content I release, and don't forget to share. If you want to show further support, you can also support me through my Patreon, and the details for that are in the description below. A massive thank you to all the Patreons that are supporting me as of right now. Your support is appreciated, and I am very humbled. Thank you very much, and until the next video, freelancers, remain legend.